Alright, I look extremely pale right now. Okay, Shot at Love! Season 2, Episode 3, I believe. Yes, Episode 3. Uh, let's just get it off. Let's start it off, alright? Everyone knows that, like, right now I'm Team Brittany and Sabrina. And so, in honor of the show, because this episode, one of my favorites, Brittany, was wearing this exact same shirt I'm wearing right now. And I thought it was awesome. Which means I even like her even more because that means we both shop at the same places. So, moving on. I'm, got, I'm gonna skip around during the show. I'm not gonna, like, start at the beginning of the episode. But, uh, I'm just gonna say, half the guys in the show are extremely immature. I mean, they raided the girls' panties, strung them across the room, and, you know, basically acting like the place is a frat house. Uh, it's not. You're annoying, go away, stop being so immature, grow up. Alright? That's all I gotta say about that. And, um, I don't know. I don't understand the point of raiding panties. I mean, I would never do that to you. Could be fun! I don't think it could be fun. I don't know. I, I, I usually find out on, for myself, you know. I don't have to go raid their closet because unlike those boys, I can get some. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> we got some uh, ballet going on in the background, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Alright, so the biathlon. Last year the girls won because Dominico was a pussy shit. This year we won because... Boys just can't get those blue balls in their mouth. I don't know what happened. The guys were so far ahead, it was ridiculous. I was like, there's no way the girl's going to win. That sucks, because I really wanted them to win, because Chad was such a chauvinistic little pig. Unfortunately, that's not the case, and that's not what happened. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, it was. Unfortunately, the girls didn't, like, cream the boys. I'm so distracted by everything that was going on behind me. Like, I, I'm not even talking right. <sighs> so the girls end up pulling it out. Then, the next challenge, they had a, these shots of disgusting thing on a conveyor belt going, and whoever, guys or girls, drank the most of the nasty stuff won. Girls ended up winning by four shots. But, let's talk about this challenge. I think it was not thought through very well, because almost every single person ended up puking. It was so gross. I, I would have puked not because of the stuff I was drinking, but because of all the people puking around me. I would not have wanted to be the person coming in and cleaning those carpets, personally. Well, the girls ended up winning that, of course. For some reason, the guys really stuck at challenges this year. So, with that being said, the girls moved on, and... Then they had another challenge with just the girls to eat pig the JJ. Pig the JJ. Ew. Yum yum. So the girls kind of like half of them dropped out out of the thing so quick it was unbelievable. I don't blame them though because I, I really don't see myself being able to eat pig the JJ. So the last three that were left was uh, Sabrina, Lisa. And who was the third girl? I don't remember who. It doesn't matter. Anyways, Lisa ended up winning. She can eat some serious uh, pig the JJ, which makes you assume that maybe she can eat real the JJ. Maybe. So she won and got more alone time with Tila Tequila. Didn't she win a? What was the? She won two challenges that day. No, she just took a long time. Oh, she went to buy me one. Oh yeah, and then uh. She won the thing, because after the biathlon, the girls got their date, and they had to write their name on, uh, I, I, they had to write, I love Tila Tequila on the board 25 times, and whoever did it the fastest got one-on-one -on -one time, and Lisa won that too. So Lisa won both of the challenges. It's probably a good thing, because last week, <laughs> sorry, that's my Mexiblon back there. Last week, Lisa was almost eliminated, so she really needed to step it up. What I don't get is that the couple of people that have commented to me on my MySpace uh, have told me that they think Lisa is the new Danny, and they like Lisa. All right. First of all, I would never, ever, ever compare Lisa to Danny. I don't think they're anything alike. Uh, Danny was a soft stud, or butch, as you like to say, um, and Lisa's a softball lesbian. Two completely different things. 
Uh, do I see Lisa making it further on the competition? Yeah, I think so. I think Tila's starting to fill her. There is a certain bit of her personality that's intriguing, but at the same time, I, I'm not really attracted to her personally, but I understand why some of you might be. Anyways, I'm just looking forward to some more Sabrina and Brittany, and I really like George, because he just seems to be a really cool guy, and you don't see him being, you know, involved in the stringing underwear up and stupid things like that. Alright, moving on. Glitter! Oh my god, Glitter Girl! She needs to go away. Not because she's mean or anything like that, but because she drives me up the freaking wall. She drives me nuts, Um, she just was crying a lot. Yeah, like it was mean about the underwear, but she's like, <laughs> Why does everyone have to be so mean? I don't like people being mean! I don't want to be around this! I don't know. It's just weird. So Glitter Girl needs to go home. Uh, uh, moving on. Also, today, uh, the people who got uh, eliminated were Ryan, who kisses like a dead uh, frog. Oh, <coughs> uh, mine pulled up a skirt. Oh, yeah. Ryan kind of accidentally pulled up Tila's skirt, and apparently she wasn't wearing underwear. I don't think she should make a habit of not wearing underwear considering the show, but it's Tila. Then the other guy that got eliminated... Ryan and, um, Dominique Oh, Dominique. Oh, Dominique! What a freaking retard. Every lesbian's going through a phrase. Uh, I don't know about that one. Let's see. I've tried to be with a guy, it just doesn't work. Puke, bleh, not working. I'm pretty sure it's not every lesbian's going through a phase. So he got eliminated because he's just ignorant. And the girls that got eliminated were V, who I was surprised. I really kind of liked her since the start. I thought she was cool. Like, But I guess I wouldn't want to date her. I'd want to hang out with her. And... Who the hell is that other girl? I don't know. I don't know. Some blonde chick. Who, if she wasn't important enough to remember her name, then it's a good thing she got eliminated. So, I'm going to say top three girls, Lisa, Brittany, and Sabrina. Guys, I'm really only impressed by George. I, the rest of them, I just, I don't know. Bo, I don't really like him, but I do feel sorry for him because Jay and Chad, little girlfriends over there, keep just like buddy in on his time. So, I'd really like to see Chad and Jay go away because they're ridiculous, and I'd like to see Glitter Girl go away. And I think that's it. So let me know what you think, and, uh, yeah. Peace out. Oh, like pink hair?